Hey friends, it's Deanna here and today we're making the half pipe um, t-shirt and I am excited. So right now is um, baseball season and my son loves baseball. So I've got this baseball fabric we're going to use um, for this top and then some red because obviously baseball is got something to do with red. I don't know. And he likes red so we're doing that. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is I already cut out all my pieces, so here they all are, my neckband, my um, sleeves, I'm doing short sleeves, and I'm doing just a neckband, um, and here's my back piece, I'm only doing, um, not doing the color block on the back piece, but if you are doing the color block on the back piece, you would do the same thing that we're doing to the front piece, put in the color block first to the back piece um, if you're doing that, um, and that's it, let's get started. Okay, so... Uh, put in my shirt right my front panel. This is my uh, one side right side up And then I'm gonna put the other side right side down on top of it Meeting it at the neck and going all the way down. So we're gonna put that first panel together Like I said if you're doing a color block on the um, back then you would uh, do the same step to the back as well um, but I'm not so I'm just doing I'm doing stripes on the back. Isn't that kind of cool? Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and sew that raw edge together right there Now it is up to you if you want to now once you're done sewing that raw edge because now that you open it is one shirt, one front panel. But if you want to, you can go ahead and um, uh, top stitch that seam along the front. It is up to you. If you want to top stitch that seam right there at the front, you can do that. I, I'm not going to. Uh, so we're going to move on. After you steam it, we're going to do our back and front together. So here's my back and I'm going to put it right on top of it. Now remember if you're doing a color block back on your pattern piece it tells you you need to leave a, I think it's a quarter of an inch for seam allowance. So if you are making the back piece you need to add a quarter of an inch on the um, on the fold. So like if you're placing the fold uh, pattern piece on the fold you would move it over a little bit on the uh, on the inside. Like a quarter of an inch, like I said. So I'm attaching those shoulder seams. So I'm going to go ahead and sew those shoulder seams together. And so now we're going to go ahead and open it up and do our sleeves. Okay, so open it up right side up and I'm going to grab my sleeve. These scissors are so dull and it's already folded. So I'm going to mark the top where the top is of the sleeve. Uh, this one came unfolded. Now I got folded. Gosh, that is such a hard job folding it and pulling with it. I'm just kidding. All right, so there it is, my notch. And I'm going to use the right side of the fabric and I'm gonna put it right on top. So I'm gonna meet it at the shoulder first. And then I'm gonna go down to the side, meeting those raw edges all the way down to the edge. And this is the one, the really good thing about, um, whoops, about the knit fabric that if it's a little bit, the sleeve is gonna be a little bit different um, and so you just have to um, stretch it just a tiny bit and that's fine that's what you do with knit okay I'm gonna go ahead and pin the other one as well since I'm in here already and since I um, like to I like to get all my stuff pinned and then sew as much as I can. Like I know you have to take steps, so you can't just pin everything and then sew. But 
Um, like if I do the sleeves, I like to pin them both and then sew, um, whatever. Side seams, I like to pin them both and then sew. Get that hair out of the way. Is it like sewing? Is it like, uh, like when you get your food, you find a piece of hair, like, oh, there's a hair on my sew. <laughs> I shed a lot and so my hair falls on the stuff I'm making all the time and I, I try not to get it in the seams because that would be kind of weird, kind of funny. I mean, it's okay if it's mine or Caleb's, my son. And usually it is. Sometimes I sew for like my nieces or whatever, but usually mostly I sew for my son and I. Sometimes I sew for my husband, but he's very picky. Like not just about like, um, like the fit, he's just picky like about the fabric and everything and I'm just sometimes I'm just like not worth it not worth it but I will I, I like to, I wish I could sew for him a little bit more anyway okay I'm gonna sew the um sleeves on there on the raw edge all right this is my second Do that for a second and now we're back to my now I'm on my second sleeve so they are on my sleeves are on so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip it uh, inside out and I'm going to sew the sides together so here's my one side I'm gonna pin at first I like to pin right there at the at the seam and then go out so that way the seams match right and then I'm going to pin all the way down the side. And we are almost done with this top. Sorry, my fabric is rolling. You know this, I love cotton lycra, but it rolls. Not that it, you know, it's not that big of a deal. You just have to be careful when you're sewing so it. I'm pinning okay. the side and I pin my seam right here first. Sorry, my chair wants to roll the other way. Um, and I, you'll see this little seam right here. I didn't have enough length of the fabric to do it. So I, um, went ahead and did like a extra right there. And I just made sure I had a quarter of an inch for seam allowance and that worked out perfectly. So, you know, you have to do what you got to do, right? I didn't have enough fabric and I wanted to use it. So I just attached a little bit at the end and we'll get moving. Okay, so now we're gonna sew that side together. Okay, and we're sewing both sides together. together we're gonna go ahead and turn it around and our shirt is almost done how cool love it so now we're gonna do our neck band and here's my neck band and we're gonna put it right sides together and we're gonna meet that short side and I'm going to sew it together right there Now I'm going to fold it wrong sides together and meet the, first I meet it here at the seam, but I'm going to fold it all the way wrong sides together, meeting at the, excuse me, raw edges. Ah, every time I have to lick my lips, I'm sorry, my, my fingers, I'm sorry. Okay, here we are. Raw edges are together. And I'm going to steam those down. Okay, so now I'm gonna find my quarters. So I'm gonna go out to the one side and that's my quarter. And I usually notch with a little, um, with my scissors, just to give it um, 
a little stay area so I know where it is. So I'm notching at the corners. Now I folded those two pins together and so now I'm doing my quarters, quarter points. And like I said, I, I like to notch it because then if my pin falls off or something, I still know where I'm supposed to be going. Now we're gonna find the sleeves and here's obviously my front where that seam is. So I'm gonna find my back. Now my, my sleeves are not my sides. So you wanna match the front and the back and go out to the side because usually my sleeves are like, this is like um, a little bit farther up than my seams. So you don't wanna, if you go by your sleeves, I mean, if you go by your shoulder seams, your shoulder seams are usually lay farther back and so you'll have an uneven neck band. So you wanna go ahead and make sure that you do mark it. So now I'm gonna go my neck band and I'm gonna put it right sides together onto my neck. And the raw edges are gonna be facing up because we're matching those raw edges and now I'm matching where I uh, marked those quarter points on my neck band. Okay. We're literally almost done with this shirt. Okay, so now that I match those quarter points, I'm gonna go ahead and sew my neck band. I always sew my neck band facing up. I wanna see my neck band. I wanna see how much I'm eating and what I'm doing, okay? So I, that's what I do, face up, put it down. Then I grab the next, the, the mark, my mark, and I grab it with my fingers and hold it tight. Make sure that you're, um, make sure that you're feeding all three of the fabrics through not just a uh, neck band. And make sure you're not catching anything else. Here we are. And almost there. See, I'm telling you to watch out for the neck band to be coming through and everything else, all the other fabrics. And here I am, and I didn't match. There we go. Now I'll just have to tuck in that tail, but that's all right. It's in and steam. Now, if you want you can go ahead and top stitch that neck band. I probably will. There it is, my neck band is done. And now all you have to do is hem your sleeves and we're hemming them at a quarter, uh, half an inch. And so I'll do that and then I'll be done. Now, if you wanted to put an applique on this and I might do like a bat or something on it, uh, but I'm not really 100% sure if I'm going to or not, but this is how you do it. Um, you will uh, sketch out the picture, either draw it out, print it out, however you want to do it uh, on your paper, and then um, cut the out, cut the outline out, and then um, you can use, um, I used glue, like a glue stick, uh, washable glue stick, and I put glue stick on my paper and I stuck it on the piece of fabric that I wanted to use, and then I cut around it, you cut around it so you got your fabric, you got your shape. Then you're gonna go ahead and use, um, you can use fusible, uh, uh, you can use fabric tape or whatever it is that you wanna do it to, um, fabric glue, to glue it on your shirt, and then you'll sew with an edge stitch all the way around, um, like very, very slowly with an edge stitch. So um, I don't know that I'm going to put one on here, I'm going to ask my son if he wants it or not, um, because it's kind of funny about that. He likes some appliques. He doesn't like all of them. So I might not do that. But also, Ellie and Mac, if you haven't, check it out. Ellie and Mac has um, a lot of um, SVG files for your Cricut. So if you have a Cricut and you just want to uh, put something on, on your kid's shirt, 
check out our um, SVG files at Ellie and Mac website and there is a ton of them and your kids would like them so I'm gonna go ahead and finish hemming my shirt and as you can tell I do not measure my hems um, I kind of eyeball the half an inch I'm gonna go ahead and finish hemming my shirt and I will post a picture um, of my son wearing it and I hope you enjoyed this sewing tutorial let me know if you have any questions about anything I did and I hope to see you next time. Now, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do so, so you never miss out on any of the sewing tutorials. And if you are not part of our Facebook page or Instagram page, I encourage you to go join us so you can see all everybody's makes and you can share your makes with us as well, because we'd love to see them. And the links will be below on the info, so if you need help trying to find where our link are, links are, they are on the info of this video. But I hope you have a great day and I hope you saw something beautiful today. Bye.